Hi, my name is Marlena Garces and I attend the School of Science and Technology, Corpus Christi. My STEM project is on the kidney. First, I will be telling you how the kidney performs its essential functions. The kidneys receive blood through the renal artery. The blood is then passed through the structure of the kidneys called nephrons, where the waste products and excess water pass out of the bloodstream. The kidneys perform the essential function of removing waste products from the blood and regulating the water fluid levels. Your clean blood goes out through the renal vein, which is your blue one that you have right here. And your blood with waste products goes in through your renal artery. Then this pinkish-like artery that you have right here is your ureter, which is where the waste products are transported to the bladder, which is also known as your urine. Then in these spindle-like forms, you have your nephrons and your tubules. When the kidneys are not functional, dialysis becomes necessary to save the victim. In dialysis, the blood passes through an external membrane which allows waste products from the blood to pass out of the blood and into the dialysis fluid. Because of the rate of buildup of the waste products, it may be necessary to perform dialysis many, as many as three times per week. The kidneys are organs that serve several central regulatory roles in most animals, including vertebrates and some invertebrates. They are essential in the urinary system and also serve homeostatic functions such as regulation of electrolytes, maintenance of acid-base balance, and regulation of blood pressure. They serve the body as a natural filter of the blood and remove salt and water wastes which are diverted to the urinary bladder. In producing urine, the kidneys excrete wastes such as urea and ammonium, and they are also responsible for the reabsorption of water, glucose, and amino acids. The kidneys also pr produce hormones including calistriol, erythrium potium, and enzyme renin. Located at the rear of the abdominal cavity, in the retroperoneum, the kidneys received blood from the paired renal arteries and drain into the paired renal veins. Each kidney excretes urine into the ureter itself, a paired structure that empties into the urinary bladder. And then that is when you have your venom that induces clotting. The fibrin is deposited into the tubules. As the tubules are blocked, the kidneys are not able to remove the same amount of water waste products from the blood. Then they begin to accumulate in the blood, and if these chemicals are not removed, the concentrations become lethal. Thank you for watching my video, and this is the kidney.